Today we're going to be talking about a lighted knock product from Easton called the Tracer Knock. Okay, so here's how we install the knock. Very simply, you just slide it in the rear of the shaft and press it in. Actually, it presses in real hard. You will need to press this against a table or, or something hard to seat it all away. But, uh, oh, there I got it. Um, you don't need any glue or anything. And if, if you want to switch them to different arrows, you can pull them out with a pair of pliers. The nice thing about this knock is that you have the ability to turn this knock off and on. So you could shoot this arrow all summer long and never have the light come on. And then come hunting season, when you're in your stand, you activate this knock just by waving it over a magnet and it turns it on and it's ready to go. Then by shooting it over that magnet, it activates the knock so that it uh, turns on after the shot. But again, uh, real easy to install. No glue needed. You just press it in the back of your shaft and uh, we're going to go downstairs in the basement where it's a little bit darker and shoot this thing for you and show you how it works. Now because this knocking system does have an off and on switch, you do need to install this little magnet, which they give you two little Velcro pieces to install it. You do need to mount it somewhere on your bow riser, fairly close to where the arrow is going to pass by. So I'm going to mount mine right here on the side of the riser. They give you this little Velcro piece. That way you could take the magnet off and on if you chose to do so. And there it's mounted on the side. It's out of the way of the arrow. And uh, we're ready to go here. Okay, here's how we activate the tracer knock. This is how you turn the off and on switch. The first thing we're going to do is bring the arrow to the magnet, and it will blink one time. Hold it there for five seconds. It'll blink twice, and then immediately pull it off the magnet. You'll get four blinks, and then the on switch has been activated. Okay, now the arrow's activated. The next time this arrow passes by the magnet, it'll remain lit. Like so. After it's remained lit for about 10 to 15 seconds, the knock starts to blink. Now, to deactivate this knock, all you have to do is slide it by the arrow, it'll shut off. Now it's still set in the go mode here, so if you shot this arrow again, the knock would turn right back on. But if you want to turn it off altogether so that you could practice with it and not use battery life, bring the arrow back to the knock, it lights up. A few seconds later, it'll blink, remove it, now the arrow's ready to go. Won't turn on. It will flash to let you know that battery is still good, but it won't stay continuously lit. So let's put this on the crossbow, shoot it, and show you how it looks in flight. So we've got our arrow all loaded, and uh, we've got our target downrange there. And yes, we are in a dark basement, but that'll just help show the knock in flight. So uh, we're going to shoot that target down there, we'll show you how this thing works. As you can see, the knock is now in blink mode, and it'll stay like that for about 90 hours. So it'll give you plenty of time to uh, help you find your arrow, or if the arrow stays in the deer, hopefully it'll give you time to find your deer. So that's it. That's the tracer knock from Easton. And uh, guys, if you're not hunting with a lighted knock, I don't care if it's the tracer knock, the luminock, the fire knock, you're missing out because... Uh, not only are they a valuable tool to help you find your arrow or find your animal, uh, they're just flat out cool and they're fun to shoot. So give them a try.